Konnichiwa, minasan. Welcome to Gaikoku Jeans Journey. So, kumusta po kayo? I hope um, you're staying healthy, um, staying at home, self quarantine days. Alam ko, marami tayong pinagdadaanan, marami sa atin yung nai stress na kasi nasa bahay lang. Pero meron din namang mga ibang taong mas naging productive, may mga skills sila na tutulunan dahil sa self quarantine na nangyayari ngayon. Pero, we do hold po. Sana, eh, matapos na itong situation na ito kasi um, mahirap. Mahirap talaga. Lalo na dun sa mga may trabaho na hindi pwede i-work from home. Okay, so today po is actually my day one of working from home here in Japan. And uh, working from home means um, kising pa din ng maaga kasi kailangan mag-report. Um, we have a, actually po we have a this called um, health check assessment through online. So we need to take our temperature and report it to the office for them to be updated. And um, after that is still, kahit nasa bahay ka is work pa din. Work pa din po. So what I'm doing right now is I'm preparing special lessons. I mean special activities for my lessons like no touching activities involved and observing social distancing the mga activities. Mga ganun po. So for today, um, isip ko, I wanted to be very productive. So, gusto kong share sa inyo ano yung self introduction lesson na ginagawa ko sa aking ESL class. I mean, sa aking EFL class. Okay. So, um, for the last four years, ang ginagawa ko po talaga is I'm using um, physical materials like the flag, the map. Um, flashcards, mga ganun po. Kasi, hindi ako talaga yung taong maka-technology when it comes to teaching. Ano pa din ako, old style pa din ako. Yung mga materials ko, gusto kong ginagawa ko. Kaya nga, nasabi ko, I think talagang dito sa lesson, talagang dito sa Japan, nagamit ko yung les, yung um, klase natin na IM. Instructional materials. Pero mostly, doon ako sa um, non-technology. Okay, so in today's vlog, I'm gonna be sharing to you my self-introduction lesson through the PowerPoint presentation which I have recently made. And let's start! This is actually my self-introduction lesson. So, like what I've told you earlier, I'm not really a techie person. I mean, when it comes to teaching, I don't teach using PowerPoint presentations, but this time it's different. Um, we were actually asked by our branch to make a presentation about how we deliver our self-introduction lesson in the classroom. And so, I would want to share it with you guys for you to have an idea as to how do we run the self-introduction lesson, okay? So, I've never used this one yet. I might be using this one this coming June, I don't know. Or I might also use my physical materials again. So this is how my self-introduction goes. So, okay, that's it. Hello. I always start with greeting the students. So, pagpasok pa lang sa classroom, most normally is, andun si JTE, ipakikilala ka niya. Sasabihin niya sa mga sudyante niya, oh, Oh, everyone, we do have our students. We do have a new ALT for starting today. Manon. So, yun yung mga intro ng mga Japanese teachers. And then afterwards, they're gonna call you ALT. Onegaishimasu. So, okay. So, what I do in my self intro is I say, Hello. Stand up. And everybody stands up. So, that's with gesture. Po. And then, I start my simple game or rhythmic game for greetings. Hello! And the students would say, would respond, hello! Hello! And they would copy me, hello! It's like an hello repeat after me game with gesture. And if I'm sure that they've already gotten the idea na okay, you have to repeat after me. Kasi yung gesture ko ng hello, may kasabay yun ng wave ng hand. So they should be like, ah, okay. So if the ALT waves her hand, so it means hello. Okay? So that's it. Now, level up the game by adding another greeting. And that is... 
Konnichiwa. This, by this time, I'm pretty sure your students will laugh or will smile. Why? Because they've, they've heard or they've seen an ALT speaking in Japanese. And you would repeat, Konnichiwa. 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 So, let's incorporate. Hello. Hello. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. To repeat after me with gesture. Accompanied by gesture pa din po yan, ha? Next is, Namaste. 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 Next, Mabuhay. Mabuhay. Repeat, uh, repeat after it pa din po. And we would go to let's level up. Hello. Hello. Konnichi. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Namaste. Namaste. Mabuhay. Mabuhay. So, ganyan lang po siya. We are just playing with the greetings around the world with gesture. Next. Bonjour. 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 <laughs> so, this is really fun for, ki for kids. Po. So, level up the game. Let's make it faster. Hello. Hello. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Namaste. Namaste. Mabuhay. Mabuhay. Bonjour. Bonjour. And alam niyo na po ha, it's a company with gesture and if you think your students already know or they're already familiar with the greetings and the gesture, the thing that you can do with this is when you level up is you just show them the gesture. Waving of hand means hello, um, bow for konnichiwa, putting your hands together for namaste, um, raising your one hand for mabuhay and for the bonjour i'm not really sure how they do this but i just make it fun so um no offense to the people from this country but i just do like an army style bonjour and the kids really love it so that's it so i just the last thing that i need to do for this one is to just do the gesture and let the kids say what is the greeting for that country and that's it that's my warm-up activity and i and after this i tell the students okay everyone let's sit down hello konnichiwa namaste bonjour mabuhay Okay, next one is introduce yourself to the students. Hello everyone, I am Jean. J E A N. Jean, nice to meet you. Some of the students will say, nice to meet you too, but it depends on their level. Some students will not really understand what you are saying, but they will still cooperate or participate in your class. This is also another opportunity for you to ask questions and get to know your students. Since you have introduced your name, why not try asking them their names as well? Hello, my name is Jean or I'm Jean. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Trying to point to your student. The gesture in this part can really help your students, especially if you are going to have this class in lower levels like first graders and second graders. Hi, I'm Jean, pointing to yourself. And you? What's your name? Pointing to the student. And the students would realize, oh, she was asking for my name. And then, they, he or she will start to say his name and eventually 
There's a domino effect in this part wherein some other students would also love to share or to tell you what's their name. And there you go. It's easy as like that. Next one. I like dancing, playing, and singing. Dancing, playing, singing. Hmm. I like dancing. Raise your hand while doing that. So, this time, you are encouraging the students to share also their likes. But you start with the things that you have told them or the things that you have used as an example. I like dancing. Who likes dancing? Raising your hands, smiling, and asking for other people to say, Do you like dancing? I like dancing. Then you can go and you can do that also with playing and singing. So what I do in my class is I also involve my JTE or HRT. HRT stands for Homeroom Teacher and JTE stands for Japanese Teacher of English. Sensei or Yuki Sensei, do you like singing? And then if the teacher says, yes, I do. Well, most of the time, they do say, yes, I do, or maybe, um, a little, so-so, those kind of things. They say that most of the time. But if they say, no, um, I don't, then it's fine. Just go with the flow and just let the JTE, V, or HRT be involved in your class. I like singing very much. Let's sing. And... I sing a song in this part. So it depends on you. No pressure in this part. Anything that you would love to do in the class or you would like to share, show to your students, you can do it in the classroom. In my case, what I do is I show them some dancing skills and singing skills and I just involve the JTE with me. And that's it. And also, if the students like dancing and singing, I also let them dance and sing for a while. The next one. Where am I from? Hmm. Here, it's Japan, right? Japan. Showing them a picture or a flashcard of Japan. Hmm. Where is Jean from? Japan? No, I'm not from Japan. Where am I from? ta -da. Hmm. ta -da. Oh. What country? Some of the students will answer in Japanese or in English. But you as an ALT, you must be prepared to study in advance what is the Japanese counterpart of each country. So like for example, America for America, Australia for Australia, Brazil for Brazil, Igirisu for UK, Tankoku for Korea. Chugoku for China. And so many more. Hint number three. ta -da. Oh, what country? Where am I from? No matter if the students answer in Japanese or English, you must always acknowledge their answers. So even if they answer Japanese, if it's the, if that's wrong or if it that if that's right, always acknowledge their answers. I am from 
Dun 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 dun. <laughs> Philippines. I am from the Philippines. You are from Japan. I am from the Philippines. Yay! My boy. Next one. Quiz time! Yay! In everyone's perspective, quiz time is the time wherein they will feel stress and pressure because they wanted to answer your questions. But please, that's not the goal of this activity. The goal of my activity is to grasp the English level of my students, to make it fun for them, to engage them, and to let them feel like English is fun they wouldn't think of anything that is negative and they will just go because it's fun they're engaged they're doing the active learning and they and they just want to learn english with me quiz time where is japan showing a, fi a picture of japan in there japan where is japan Show them the flat. I mean, show them the map. And that's it. So in this case, I'm using a Japanese version of map. I mean, as you can see in there, the characters are all in Japanese. Why? Because I just want to. But if, and I think like, especially for the fifth, for the first, second, and third graders, it's easier if I use a Japanese map because um, they've studied this they know they can easily identify where is japan if they can see the kanji in there and they would feel less stressed and pressured if they see japanese characters in there you can decide for that if you want to use the english version of of the map then it's fine okay so where is japan hmm. japan no. Japan? No. Japan? No. Where is Japan? Now some of the students will be very participative. They wanted to um, go in front and show to their classmates like, Hey, I know where is Japan. Here is Japan. So let them be. So, where is Japan? Thinking time. That's 15 seconds. So until this time is over, let's just let them think. And time's up. Tell me, where is Japan? Da 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 da. Yay! Good job! Everybody, let's say good job! Good job! Good, good job! Mm, mm, mm. Hey! Good, 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 good job! Hey! Good, 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 good job! And that's it! Just don't forget to praise your students genuinely. So I do also a rhythmic praising for them. Okay, and that's it. So let's move on to the next one. Of course, since you've already found where is Japan in the map, next is you need to find for my home country. Where is the Philippines? Hmm, where is the Philippines? Show them again the map. Fi Philippines? No. Let's zoom. Philippines? No. Philippines? No. Now, if the students don't know the answer, what I do is that I give them a hint by telling them that Philippines is right over here, very close to Japan. I just gave them a hint and now they just need to find for where is the Philippines which is very easy for them okay let's think everyone where is 
Philippines. Thinking time starts now. 15 seconds of thinking time book. Time's up. Okay, now who can tell me where is the Philippines? Help me, please. Help, help, help. Assuming one of your students volunteered. Okay, let's go. Stand up, Mr. Takeru. Let's stand up, stand up, and show me where is Philippines. Pointing. <gasps> That's right. Air touch, please. Air touch. Bam. Okay, and that's it. Philippines. Very good. Let's see everyone. Mr. Takeru, good job. Mr. Takeru, good job. Okay, that's it. And that is the first half of my self intro lesson. Now, for the second half, I'll be showing it to you on my next vlog. Thank you for watching, and I hope I was able to help you. Goodbye, everyone. See you on the part two of the self intro lesson.